Idiot Radio, taking it to the edge and back. Brace yourself for an earthquaking shock. Nothing you have ever seen, nothing you have ever felt could prepare you for this colossus of entertainment. The Double D. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh, we're back. Oh, yeah. I get to hang out with you cunts on a Wednesday. I know. I guess what, man? Fuck your couch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's been a minute. I know Vinny has it Vinny hasn't been here since like season four. I'm telling you. It has. Really? It's been a while. We're in season seven now. Like, hey. we, he don't come so much, we gotta write special shit into his contract again. I know. Well, yeah, I, gotta, <laughs> I gotta give him the uh, special guest treatment. Yeah. yeah. You know? Thank you. Thank you. Good you to get see you extra guys. bologna well, we got, on your it's sandwich. It's a double D show, a special guest, Vinny the villain. Yeah. <laughs> hey, good to see you guys. How you doing? Proud to be here. I was just gonna say no no breaking glass on Vinny today and you already beat me too. Uh, I know, right? <laughs> well, he's still a jag. Right? Already going. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Double D Show. We're broadcasting live from our Idiot Radio studios. In, it's the Brookline Pub Studio. We have two studios now. We have a Baldwin studio Ooh. and a Brookline studio. Yes. yes, sir. So we're broadcasting live from our Brookline Pub studio, 734 Brookline Boulevard. Ding. 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 <laughs> you guys ding so loud. You don't even hear the sound. But, but uh, if you're listening live or you want to listen live, you can listen to us live at our idiotradio.net, doubledshow.com, but then we got a whole bunch of new things you can listen to us on thanks to our new program director, Aaron Lester. Yes, sir. Shout Tune out to in Big ra- A. Yes. Tune in radio, Apple iTunes, Internet radio, live online radio, and our free Idiot Radio app. I think we're like the only guys in town that have their own app. We are. Right. I think we are. Yes. Yeah. Well, but we're, we're not cool podcast guys because we don't <laughs> have our own. Tw- we don't have. We have twelve Twitter followers. <laughs> so so right. we found out recently that if you're not, if you don't have enough Twitter followers, you're not a cool podcast. Yeah. Guy. So and, and if you say cunt, but hey. yeah, and you're not allowed to say <laughs> cunt. <laughs> you Got to have Twitter. That's right. <laughs> but I mean, we, we're, we're so many places. We have we have to put on a piece of paper so we right. can read it off. Where right. We're, where yeah. We're now at. we got new cards and stuff. Yeah. That yeah. is like then, my Sesame Street word of the day. Cunt. I love I, that. Word. All right. We're we're done saying that word today. Cunt. We say it in like different prefaces, like can't understand what know. we're thinking. Let's just not say it anymore. <laughs> I don't. Know. I don't want to get in trouble. Cunt. I don't want to scare off more people. Cunt. Um, oh, they haven't been scared <laughs> off already. They're already. People that are doing articles truly... about us. And, I know. Uh, all right, just change the subject. <laughs> all right, all right. Me, I'm sorry. We're, we're I'm getting sorry. into a gray area. If if you ever miss the live broadcast, you can listen to us live on or listen to the podcast on SoundCloud, SoundCloud, Google Play, iTunes, and iHeartRadio. Wow, damn, we're everywhere now. Yes, yes. So you yes. have no excuse not to right. listen so, to us. There's can't no miss excuse. us. Yeah, Aaron Lester's been very busy. There's also an Idiot Radio blog. Oh, wow. 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 So, a um, blog. Yes. Oh, we're really high class now. I feel like a blog sometimes. Just don't. <laughs> no, no, that's blog. blog. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, TJ. This is Jim Cranston to the Double D Show on Idiot Radio. I love these guys. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. So we got a big party coming up Saturday, yes. September 9th, right here. 734 Brookline Boulevard yes. at the Brookline Pub. It's the Idiot Radio Holiday Extravaganza on Ice 2.0. Um, we're going to be doing some of our old favorites. We're going to do the um, Eggnog Chug Challenge. TJ, are you doing that? Oh, man. I'm on. I'm can, on can board. Be I love eggnog. Tim, TJ, and, or Tim, myself, and Jack are doing it, and we're going to open it up oh. to the public. All right. Yeah, I'm fine. I'll do it. Yeah. The, the last time we did it, we used to do it like a power hour. Uh-huh. With TJ, the first time we did it, I should say. The first time, yeah, the and, first um, time I puked. I was trying to get TJ to puke on my head. <laughs> no, no, the, you know, the, first, no, the first time we did it, I puked into a garbage can, but then somebody sent in an idea. You should have TJ puke on your head. Yeah. So, like, I got, like, we got, like, almost two gallons down. I, I, I get the urge. I'm like, I got to throw up. I got to throw up. And then and I was... I'm, I was doing it over it. He fruitless. dives underneath me. Oh, oh. puke on my head, dude. That'll be great. Mud left. Mud left. He's he checked out. He was done. No doubt. Yeah. But I was gonna do uh, Fruit that Loops. I was gonna get uh, Fruit Loops and uh, and eat them out of the bowl. And then I, the place that we were gonna do it at a public place. Okay. And um, and they, they made me not do it. All right. They made me not do it. So I was Lame. like, ah, oh, fuck that. Um, but we're also gonna recreate our um. Our um, world's tallest human Christmas tree. Uh huh. We're big recreating Mike. that with Big Mike. He has the world record. He's six foot eight. We dress him up like a Christmas tree, and um, we got a phone call. But before we do that, I'm just going to finish this plug. Um, we got um, 
we're going to get our trophies. Idiot Radio bought us trophies oh, for one of the best nice. podcasts. So those will be given out. I'm not sure who's giving them out, Howie D. Mack or Brian Jerome. <laughs> Whoever's giving them out is roasting us as they do. Nice. Give. So Jack has to get his from Brian Jerome. Yeah. That'd be awesome. That is the other way we'll Jack gets his trophy. Over yeah. the, over the, the, uh, the table when the, he gets nice. it. Nice. That makes it and all then, worth uh, it. And then what else? We're going we're gonna to play games and stuff with the crowd. It's just a party. And then unofficially, not confirmed, but um, – I did talk to Diamond Dallas Page today. He may be here because oh, he's going to be in awesome. town. Nice. Be, oh, wow. wow, that's crazy. Tim, yeah, would be. let him diamond cut you. I, I definitely. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm all about it. Yeah, I would. And then, I'll, 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 jump, do then I'll jump in and he can, he can diamond cut me. <laughs> right, no, right. we got to go to the phone line. Yeah, so we do have a special caller today, actually. Oh, wow. You know who it is. I do know who it is, and you're going to be so excited that he called in. Caller, you're on the air. Double D. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> is, oh. is this McDonald's guy? Oh, shit. This is me, baby. <laughs> this is like a Chris, early Christmas present. What's up, McDonald's guy? Oh, you know, nothing. I was at the wrestling Friday. Oh, you saw us at the wrestling match, Tim and I? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that Tim. <laughs> we were slugging people with chairs and helping our buddy Dean Radford out. He was something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, ah, uh, jeez. So what what makes you uh, calling us? What, what brings you calling us today, there, McDonald's guy? Uh, well, I know you have, you have a special show, and uh, yeah, we got a special guest special coming guest. in in a few minutes. Yeah, and uh, I just wanted to hear your voice for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, yeah. You know, Christmas is coming up. What what um what does McDonald's guy want for Christmas? Is there anything on your uh, Christmas list? Let me think. There's lots of things I want. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know what one of them um, is. Would, would you make cheese say cheeseburger for me ten times? <laughs> you want me to do what? Cheeseburger. You want me to say? Why do you want me to say cheeseburger? Oh. Ten times. <laughs> should I do it? I think you should do it. He, he's a faithful caller. You I want me to say cheeseburger ten it. times? He's pretty loyal. Oh, that'd be the best. All right. You're not gonna do anything creepy. Does, hold you? on. How do you want him to say it? Do you want him to say it like like cheeseburger, Am I cheeseburger, ever creepy? cheeseburger? Or do you want to go real slow and sultry for you? Yeah, I'll just, I'll do it. Ready? Oh, I'm going to regret slow. this. Yeah. Slow. Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. <sighs> Cheeseburger. Slow down. Cheeseburger. 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 <laughs> Cheeseburger. That was 10 times. Hello, Give him one more for the road. One more? Cheeseburger. Slow down. I'll do oh, my Barry White voice. Cheeseburger. No, that wasn't even. <laughs> 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 that was like, oh. Cheeseburger. Oh. 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 What is he doing? That was like no, Betty I'm White. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> He's going to say I'm touchdown. Oh. Oh. Special oh. sauce. Oh. Lettuce cheese. One more time. Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. <laughs> oh. oh. Right. I'm out. I'm at, no way. I'm out. I'm out. No. He hung up. More uh, people call here and masturbate than what, any of What is up with this show and people? Everybody's. Why did he? Why? Everybody wants to call and masturbate on the phone. If it ain't you, it's my mom. I'm telling right. you. That. That's I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. That does set the tone. We got, we got more, more guests in He's like, slow down. He was all he's bossy like, about it. He's like, oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking McDonald's guy. Jeez. I don't know. We got, we got good company. In this I game. know. We got we to gotta take a break. <laughs> I got I to gotta get cheese. <laughs> yeah. You got to adjust you gotta, your underpants. Exactly. <laughs> Should, I mean, we've been well, announcing all over social media. So let's. Uh, we're going to take our first break, and then when we come back, we're going to bring in, in my opinion, the best comic in the city of Pittsburgh. Hands down. Hands down. Our, oh. our new friend. I'm going to call him a friend. I'm going to ride his coattails for a second. I'm going to ride We're him. Gonna, I mean, you what? Hey, Tim. <laughs> Tim. I go say McDonald's <laughs> guy wants you're to gonna ride. Get, you're going to get a timeout. All right, I'm just saying. Let, <laughs> let him talk on the show before you Jim Crenna. Okay? Yeah. My bad. My bad. <laughs> McDonald's guy wants to ride or die. I, I was that. Ugh, all right. I'm. Uh, we're taking a <laughs> You're break. All we're taking a break. I'm out. Later. All right. 
Looking for a DJ for your next party, corporate event, wedding, or special occasion? Contact Rich Who Entertainment, the official DJ of Idiot Radio. For free quote and information, give them a call at 412-266-1266. That's 412-266-1266. Rich Who Entertainment, DJs for all occasions. For all your heating and cooling needs, service, and installation, contact our friends at Complete Comfort Heating and Air Conditioning, 412-513-3001. Doesn't your family deserve Complete Comfort? Let loose at the hottest new after-hours club northeast of Pittsburgh. Exposure Gentlemen's Club, 288 Clearfield Pike. Catanic PA. Enjoy complimentary drinks and our beautiful dancers every Tuesday through Saturday, 8 p.m. to 4 a.m. Admission is just $20 until 2 a.m. and $25 from 2 a.m. to close. VIP and champagne rooms available. For more details, go to clubexposure.com. Come by yourself or with a group and have the night out you deserve. You're listening to Idiot Radio, taking it to the edge and back. Looking for a creative idea for meetings, business lunches, and special events? Call Spiels on Wheels, food truck and catering, and take the stress away. For more information, call them at 724-244-9881 or on Facebook at facebook.com slash spielson.wheels. Vapor Connection in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Premier vaping lounge and proprietor of vaping supplies. We carry everything from mods and accessories to the widest selection of e-liquids in Pittsburgh. Visit our shop in Blonox and sample e-juice from America's best suppliers. Vapor Connection, Pittsburgh's premier vapor and shop lounge. Vape easy at the Vapor Connection. For more information, go to VaporConnectionLLC.com. We're back on a Wednesday Double D show. Fuck. Music shit. Can I, yeah, thank you, thank you for turning my mic and I'm yeah. here talking. I'm here I know, right? I'm all saying shit. We changed it up a little. Toss is super excited wow, right man. now. Yeah, That's a, why you wanted me back on the show to hear this. This is The new production. Well, we got wow. that new studio, so I'm putting in a lot of work in there, and it's nice because <laughs> I don't have to, like, flip-flop wires like a douchebag. Everything's there, and it's ready to go. So I don't have to lock the doors when he's jerking yeah. off the kid Chris ja- anymore? Jack's not here. <laughs> Jack's not here, so we can we don't have to do the disclaimer. So it's Wednesday. Right. So. Yeah, this is a new disclaimer. Guess what day it is? <laughs> Oh, come on, I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? <laughs> Guess what today is? It's hump day. Hump day! Woo-hoo! Hump day! It's hump day. Hump, 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 hump. All right. Hump, 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 hump. Hump day! Uh-oh. Okay. We don't do Wednesdays. I know. That's, that was hot. I like it. We can dry hump with sure our like This is a weird feeling. <laughs> <laughs> is it me? I, I've been gone a little bit, but... Things really changed. We're always working. We're always evolving, yeah, we're, Benny. Is it just the fact that it's Wednesday or you, we, we're know. evolving? I don't know. I did get extra sleep because it's Wednesday. I was off today. Wow. Uh, I just got to work like a little bit ago. We got we got, uh, we got important company. We got to bring it on to the show. Okay. okay. I didn't mean to just He's try. not worth it. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> You know I got ya. Yeah. One. Break the one. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the Double D Show for the very first time. The funniest, most controversial, most outspoken, tough as nails, son of a bitch. <laughs> He's a multiple time winner of Pittsburgh Magazine's best comedian in Pittsburgh. And the guy that kicked cancer right in the fucking balls. <laughs> Let's welcome <laughs> to the Double D Show, Matt Light. Yes, sir. Hey. Hey. Right. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking I saw, about. It sounds like I wrote that fucking introduction. <laughs> 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 I forgot I did half that shit, man. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I'm the- glad we all have... Matching headphones from Five Below. I That's like right. it. Yeah. That's because they break different them. colors. The, the other studio has like expensive headphones, but these guys they get fucking shit faced at Steeler games. Yeah, because we tape on Sunday and they break them. Well, they so. bring them into the fucking game. You like Cuba Gooding Junior Radio? You just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they come in shit faced. 
like, so if the game, we go opposite of the Steelers. So okay. The, when we go after the Steeler game, okay. they come in shit faced and don't, Jack will eat them, the headphones. Is that uh, a dog? No, he's um, Jack. Tim's our dog. Oh, Tim, okay. Tim's our pet Tim. Okay. <laughs> we take him. He's so happy about that. I'm the crazy, I'm the crazy guy. Yeah, show me that red rocket. <laughs> <laughs> and please call Jack by his proper name. Oh, jeez. What? Call Jack by his proper name. Jack Splat. Thank you. Jack Splat. Yeah, yeah he's, he's. Why did he here. get that name? He prematurely ejaculated? I think Mud gave him that. I don't even know where that came. We'd have to ask Mud where Why that do came you all from. have, like, liquid names? There's Mud, <laughs> Splat. And Mud's is actually his real you, name, though. What, do you I'm have, like, an my... Asian guy that comes in named Bukaki, too? <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I <wish>. <laughs> <laughs> it's TJ, the villain, okay. Splat, Jack Splat, Big Mike, Tim. It just Tim. He's yeah. just. Tim. I need one. Can I be like Money Shot Matt Light? <laughs> oh, in my dreams. Oh, oh there we go. Yeah, yeah, all right. A little bit of a love right. connection. I like it. <laughs> Here we go with Monkey Splat. All right. <laughs> I, this is like one of the very. I think we've only done this with one other person in the city, and now it's T Robe. What are you talking about? The whole show is just. It's. It's. All Matt, it's the Matt Light Hour. We're just oh, gonna okay. yeah, let's, do it. let's do it. So this is like a precedence that that's only been set by one other person. All right, I don't so. know if I can live up to it, man. <laughs> I think no, it'll be all right. No, literally, I might get cancer in like five minutes. <laughs> 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 Matt, 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 truly, I didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. Oh yeah, I faked it, man. No, you're no, good, no, I'm man. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so all right, let's start off with your comedy career. What, where, when did you get your start? Okay, uh, I actually started uh, because my mom owned, or well, not owned, she ran a restaurant downtown called Tambellini's. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. I always wanted to do stand-up comedy, and I was like, hey, uh, I'm going to write a bunch of shit on note cards, convince the owner to let me do a show there. And the owner was really cool. He was a big fan of, like, Andrew Dice Clay and shit like that, so I knew I could say whatever I wanted. It just was a matter of, like, getting material together. Mm -hmm. So I just went up one time in, like, I think it was uh, August of 2008. Wow. And I did, like, 25 minutes. And at the time, I thought I, like, fucking murdered. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, like, just your family and friends. Right. So, like, I was like, oh, this is great. I'm going to be on SNL in, like, five weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking, I'm going to turn down deals. Like, I'm going to tell, like, so... I ended up doing a, uh, a contest at, like, the Pittsburgh Improv, like, a month and a half later and completely ate a dick. And I was like, oh, man, this sucks. Whoa, so, you ate a dick. I did, man. <laughs> I deep fried it. You know there what you I go. mean? There you go. Nothing wrong with that. Talk but, about yeah. that a little, a little more. No, but that's the challenge. This is why guys call him masturbating. Oh, yeah. Uh. For, this, for this reason. <laughs> <laughs> so so, so yeah so well. the first time you killed and and that's what a lot of people say is they kill yeah. because their family's all there oh the yeah first time. like i was talking about my gram going to fucking bingo and like people thought it was hysterical <laughs> and then i'm and then i do it like where my nobody knows my gram you know at the improv i'm like yeah my gram right and they're like <laughs> i we don't know that old bitch like what the fuck are you talking about <laughs> yeah. yeah it's welcome uh, it's to the, the real world jack yeah. splat what's up buddy what well, I made it. Introduce you to Matt Light. Sorry, brother. Is that a Miami hat you have on? Yeah, it is. He's I a... like him already. He <laughs> yeah. oh, that's right. Jack's a big Miami fan. Right. Right. Miami oh, Hurricanes? Jack? Yeah. No. Unless, nice. unless they play Pitt. Shut up. That, <laughs> <laughs> that game never so, happened. Yeah. So, so you <laughs> the last the two weeks never happened. Yeah. So. You did the open mic and you, and you bombed. Oh, yeah. Really so, bad. So what, uh, what was your next gig after that? Like, Well, like I didn't really know of anything because like I literally just like – added a bunch of comedians from MySpace, because that's when MySpace was popular. Right, we still have one. We, yeah, we, do. we still we have, have one? Twitter followers. <laughs> <laughs> all, all, all our followers are on MySpace. Right? Yeah, yeah. guys are fake Tom's news. a good friend. Is that thing still running? <laughs> yeah, our, uh, the old one's still up. Dude, yeah. fun, fun fact, and I'm going to say it, even though I'm going to get in trouble for it, I don't care. Uh, my dad... My dad got a Facebook to start creeping, right? <laughs> and this was like when I was like 16 or 17. And I was like, I was like, dude, do you have a Facebook? He's like, yeah. And this fag Tom keeps following me everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he owns MySpace. He's like, and I'm friends with him. I'm like, no, you're not friends with him. He's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. I, I do have, I forgot to say thank you. 
when we won the award, we were getting a lot of shit from all the cool podcast guys. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. And on Twitter, Matt was one of the people that kind of stuck up for us a little bit. He, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, man. man. Yeah, because, I mean, when it's all said and done, like, if you're worrying about what other people are doing, you're going to fucking stay second place. You know right. what I mean? Just right. Like, right. Or if you spend all day on Twitter. <laughs> Dude, like, I, like, I don't want to hear about, like, I, 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 I hate when people complain that they don't win. Yeah. Just be good at something, and you'll get right. there. Like, I'm not shit talking whoever said it right it is what it is right but like don't fucking sour grapes cry that you lost right it, and what find out why you didn't win what what was happening was so, so they they heard of us they heard our name and that yeah. actually everybody knew before we did well ta 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 hold up man that was some of the realest shit i heard in a long time what's that <laughs> Say that one more time for me. I already forgot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's like, find out why you didn't win. Right. Yeah, man. Look right. in the mirror, man. And then get better. So what we'll be doing next year. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> no. So what, what had happened was they, they, were sent, they were looking up Double D Show, but everything falls under Idiot Radio. Mm-hmm. So they, they were like, they don't even have iTunes and this and that. And it was just like, come on, man. And then I started getting threats, and then I was calling people cunts. Now, other people won't work with me because of that. I thought you weren't allowed to use that word. <laughs> yeah, well, well. We're not. There was, you, there was a big guy. Uh, hey, hey, I got Hold on. Now, before we go on, who's this black guy sitting here? Uh, that's Vinny. <laughs> nice <laughs> to meet you. I don't know if I've ever met. Is he a special guest tonight? Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, uh, he's my jitney driver. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's your Uber driver. Yeah. Yeah. And then they say your name is Splat Jack? That's it. Nice to meet All you. Right. <laughs> well... We got Matt Light here, so we, we'll talk. Dude, you, you, don't we worry can, about me. Can, I ain't uh, shit, man. We can, can uh, we can hug it out later. All right, sorry about that. Have the family sorry reunion that. later. <laughs> We're whatever. in trouble already. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> oh, someone made the list. Uh-oh. <laughs> so some of your inspirations in the comedy, like coming up, currently? Uh, literally, okay, so I grew up in a very unorthodox family uh, where I didn't really grow up with, like, Disney movies or anything like that. So, like, I would just look at whatever my dad had on VHS, and I would watch. Porn. And I, oh, no, no, no. I would, wa- I would watch that live, dude. Come on, man. <laughs> That's why I'm a big Penn State fan as well. No. <laughs> no, but, like, I would, like, we had, this VHS was in the, in, in the thing, and it was, uh, it was Andrew Dice Clay live. And, and I played it, and I, at the time, like, because I heard all these nursery rhymes because I was a kid. Yeah. And then he's like, some chick was sucking my cock. Like, I was like, oh, that's... <laughs> I was just thinking that hickory dickory yeah. cock. Yeah. <laughs> and I had no idea what that meant, but I thought it was so funny, and I just loved the attention that this one dude was getting. Mm-hmm. And being an only child, I was like, I want that fucking attention. I want to be like that. And uh, as I got older, you know, Adam Sandler was like, my biggest influence mm-hmm. and you know when i found out what his path was you know it was stand up to get on snl snl to get the movies movies to have your own production now was that when he was like putting out all his albums and things like yeah, that yeah yeah, yeah. like uh, what the hell happened to me right, you know, right, right. stan and judy's here like mm-hmm. all those things so like you would hear these sketches and this guy was just so funny and he was he just he didn't have a problem he was like the first guy that didn't have a problem making an ass out of himself right and knowing it like he was the butt end of every joke (laughs) right right right. but but he's still the fucking star and i was i love this guy so you know i followed him and then as as crazy as it sounds uh when i was uh like fifth or sixth grade what i think would change it for me more than anything was tom green Tom, Tom Green. Tom, Tom Green, Green yeah. show, man, the was physical, like fucking the, unreal. His physical aspect, like his facial features oh, yeah. and, and all that. He started all the pranks, man. He started virtually everything you've seen, like Jackass mimic that. Right. And now there's all these hidden prank shows. And mm-hmm. then there's people on YouTube that do this shit now on yeah. Facebook. Like, he was the main guy. And, like, we used to run around with a camera. Like, every Christmas I wanted a camera because mm-hmm. I wanted <laughs> to be just like Tom Green. And then... You know, this this year I got to open up for him, dude. It was like the coolest fucking thing ever. Really? Oh, that's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. Wow. It was the coolest thing. And I tried to like like not lose my cool. Because like, you yeah. meet a lot of guys. But like when I met Tom Green, I'm like, dude, you're my fucking childhood. Like yeah. everything about you. Like, And then we talked about, you know, uh, my battle with cancer, his battle with cancer. And like we've stayed not, not close, but like I can talk to him. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like it was cool, man. Keeps it relevant. That's, it's yeah. kind of like me and DDP now. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome, like we, dude. We text, I just texted him today. He may come to our Christmas party. And while we're talking about DDP, I just throw the quick plug in there. 
Download your DDP Yoga Now app on iTunes and Google Play. That pays for my membership for when I yes. do my I was going to say, you Stretch two doing yoga sucker. together. <laughs> <laughs> How's that end, working out for you? The end game, I, I'm getting. I'm not getting the full five days in every week. I'm getting like He's still two stretching days it. in. He's still yeah. stretching to try I'm to suck to, his dick. Try, the, the end game is trying to suck my own dick. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm sure he oh, loves wow. that plug. I'm sure he loves me. Saying I want to suck my own dick by week six, but now, he yeah. understands the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's been here. He understands what you're about. <laughs> All right. Now, back to Matt Light and talking about his stand up. What is what's the you've been all over the you've been all over the country yeah. doing stand up. What is the craziest shit that ever happened to you on stage? Oh man. Uh, I, I can tell you a story that just happened uh, last month. Okay. So I uh I, you know, I do I go into when I headline, I always close on. Uh, I talk about my cancer shit because I want people to know that like I'm, we're all making fun of everyone. Like we can make fun of what I went through too. Yeah. So what happened was there was these drunk bitches before like the the host was on a while ago, and they left and they went to the bar in this hotel. They came back at the end of my set, and I said something. And I said the word cancer, and she didn't hear my set. It was just a trigger word. And she goes, that cancer's not funny. You're a fucking piece of shit. And <laughs> I was like, are you retarded? Like, did you not hear anything I said? Like, it had nothing to do with making fun of people with cancer. So they were trying to escort her out, and she wasn't leaving. And my mom my mom was like, all right, you got to go. Who's listening, by the way? My mom was like. <laughs> Hi, mom. Hi, mom. Hey, mom. She's like, you got to go, right? And then, like. Now, does she travel with you? Is she your manager? No, this was just in Pittsburgh. Oh, it was Pittsburgh? a Pittsburgh show. So she threw a drink at my mom. My mom put her in a fucking oh, headlock. Nice. And just started beating the brakes off this fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I'm just on stage like, holy fuck. Like, what do I do? <laughs> That's the best day ever. I was like, you know what? I can't top this guy. My name is Matt Light. Uh, enjoy your boxing match. And I just got <laughs> off the stage. <laughs> and then yeah, usually it's you finishing. Yeah. So my mom leaves. You know, my mom leaves. And then next thing you know, uh, the cops come. And. The cops like, what happened? I was like, oh, she's a drunk fucking cunt. And, and my mom is a saint. I like that word. Yeah. 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 We and, should ding every time somebody says that word. So, and that's, that's pretty much what happened. And then the cops were like, oh, yeah, fuck it. No harm, no foul. Good. How'd she get home? I'm like, oh, my friend. My friend drove her. You know what I mean? And then that was it. Yeah. But, yeah, that was the craziest, man. My mom fucking cashed in money in the bank on my own show. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> took the title. So. That's awesome. Nice. Wow. Ba- back to you. You were talking about your um, inspirations. Um the greatest CD, I think, um, stand-up CD, has to be The Day the Laughter Died. Oh, yeah. And I, I just heard an interview with him. He's working on a new one similar to the, that style yeah. that he did The Day the Laughter Dies. Well, I just, you know, I, I, I like to see comics come back when they haven't been around. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Dice, that, Dice has a show on Showtime now, I right? think. Do you know right. the reasons why he disappeared for so long? No. He went uh, through a, a bad divorce. Okay. And he raised his boys. Well, his That's son wild. does. His, his son's doing stand up now. One's in a band, right? Yeah. yeah. Plays drums, yeah. yeah. Right? Uh, I, I could That's tell you about Bitch Hex Wives. No, yeah. Tim, we're. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just saying. Yeah, like D- Dice Clay to me, like he's. Damn. If I could pick like like top five guys <laughs> to work with, like that's just another bucket list thing. And I think it's more so because like it's 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 one of those things where like you know how we're all Sealer fans for the most part yeah. because yeah. we're from Pittsburgh and right. because yeah. our parents raised us on that. Like, Born and raised. Yeah, yeah, like like for me, like Dice Clay, like is like okay, that was one of the bonds that my dad and I had, as fucked up as that is. Yeah. So, like, it's cool for, like, your, you know, your dad to be like, oh, my God, my son's going to work with this fucking guy. So yeah. he would be, like, the ultimate to work for. You know what I yeah. mean? Mm-hmm. Booking that's this cool. show, that's how I'm, I have a 15-year-old. I'm trying to <clears throat> book people that he likes. Yeah. You know, like, we, we do Fast and Loud. We watch, That's our show we, we watch together. Okay. And, and I'm like, man, I, gotta, I, keep, I always reach out to Richard Rawlings because I want to get him on. Yeah. So that my son be like, hey, man, that's pretty cool, Dad. You know? <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I, that's an amazing story. I didn't. Which one? I didn't really. Care My mom beating ass. No, uh, <laughs> no that, that was I a big like story. That. I didn't like that. <laughs> that is bucket list shit, there, right? But uh, what, what was it? Bucket list. What is it? No, Buc- his, bucket his, list. Bucket list. His mom beating up somebody at a show. Yeah, man. <laughs> but I was trying to figure out what Vinny was saying. One more game. Bucket list. One more game. I'm fucking him up. Fuck one. Fuck a test. <laughs> it's going to turn into a fuck it list and you're just going to start beating people with bottles. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to let that slide for one more time. 
Andrew Dice Clay, I, I never liked that guy. No. Yeah. And and to hear that story now, I like him. He's yeah, a good, he's a good dude. Like it's a character. The guy, you, the asshole you see on stage with the leather jacket and what the did, cigarette. Didn't he have that, that show on like VH1 there for a little bit? I think um, so. About like his, like right, it's like his home life yeah, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah his living in conditions. Well, what that's was deep. his movie again? Uh, Ford Fairlane. Ford Fairlane. Fairlane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what it was. That is really deep. Now you done caught my attention. Now you're gonna make me do some. <laughs> well, well, we were talking about. We just talked about uh, Dice's movie. We, we, could you see yourself transitioning into TV and film? Yeah, man. You know, uh, I have a, uh, a movie. Uh, Idea that uh, Ray Zawadi and I actually came up Our buddy with. Buddy Ray. Yeah, it's it's based off of my life, kind of, uh, nice. and my buddy's life. And, uh, you know, I, I don't want to get too far into it, but, like, you know, it's something that we want to write, and I think it could be really, really good. But I think the biggest problem is when you write movies now is what happens is, like, you make the movie, and then you go to Sundance or whatever the fuck it is, and then <clears> people <throat> are like, oh, my God, this is awesome. Yeah. It picks up a lot of heat. And the next thing you know, three years from now, Zac Efron's playing me. I'm like, no, 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 fuck him. <laughs> right, right. And I want to play me. Right. You yeah. know what I mean? So, you got that right. You, know, you, you want to be Rocky. Yeah, man. <laughs> you know, I got that. You know, I, I got a couple of uh, sitcom ideas that, that I've been the, trying to The best to would be a holding. I always say this to people, get a holding deal and just get paid to sit on Oh, something. yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. pick up. You always own everything. Don't let them make you the cunt. Well, that's the biggest hey, thing right. is I think you should. <laughs> you should uh, there we go. I, I think a lot of people do that when, when they're not successful. The first thing they do is they take that first paycheck, man. Like, look at. Did you ever hear the story about Rocky, Sylvester Stallone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What was it like 50K he was offered? He said, fuck uh-huh. you. It's not worth it. Yeah, and exactly. then they wanted somebody else to play yeah. Rocky. And he's like, no, I got to start. And star. now all of a sudden he made, what, $400 million off that yeah. franchise? He sold his Still dog to get yeah, food or something. Yeah. Really. And then he bought him back after the movie like, did well. Yeah. Like 2500 or uh-huh. 25 grand. Or yeah, it's like 25 grand. That's crazy. That I, I love listening to uh, people like that. His... The way he got started, the way Hef got yeah. started, yeah. yeah. You know, th- those are, and then you know, maybe someday we'll talk about how Tim and I, and <laughs> Vinny and Jack and TJ and Mike are, are selling crack and carrot. <laughs> 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 it's heroin now. What we once yeah. were. You <laughs> can't arrest me. I used to be on idiot radio. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you don't remember me? I chugged egg dog. Oh. <laughs> oh. I my ass. No, That's I got as, tasered on air. That's just as bad. As I ate a hot chip. The lead singer from Jack, um, damn, Pearl Jam got arrested, and he starts singing the song. You're not going to arrest me. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, okay, your day is over, That's man. Awesome. Get in the car. <laughs> <laughs> he got it. He got it. Old times at Richmond High, I see. <laughs> All aboard. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 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 No, that wasn't even that bad. It was, it was kind of relevant. Yeah. We've been waiting so long for that. I just want, I, I was a little, little gun. Sh- I was trigger happy. He was yeah. waiting for the moment he could do it. I'm very impressed by all these sound effects we got. We got like the stone cold glass breaking. You got the fucking Look, train. Matt, Matt. <laughs> yeah, this we is got... why I don't be on the show no more. He's a, cut. He's a straight cut. All right, all right. Enough do, with do. <laughs> so, so how, I explained it to people. We, this is the um, this is the sampler. We got the glass break, the yeah. orgasms, the farts, you know, like the radio. The radio uh, gold that you no know, toilet flush in. So we, what middle school do you guys go to? <laughs> <laughs> we, we talk about hairy vaginas, you know, Wookie Bush. But then I also have the hot button stuff. Like I always like to play uh, Perry Saturn. Yeah. Hey man, Perry Saturn, sweating to death here. Check out my house what the temperature is. 87 degrees. I'm just burning up here between my flooded basement and the hot house. I'm going to die of black mold exposure for sure. And before you say, turn on the air conditioner, I don't have one. I don't have any. See ya. (laughs) He he needs help. He needs a hug. Um, And then we talk about horse sex. We play like. Hello. Mr. Ed. Yeah. So, I mean, it's Are you guys available for children's birthday parties? <laughs> <laughs> you can always play butt sex for them. Yeah, we got that. I, don't know. <laughs> I think I'm going to toot. <laughs> and then when we talk about Tim and his boyfriend. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> All right. We got, we, no, I just derailed the show. I yeah, thanks, Todd. It's okay. 
It's supposed to be the Matt Light Hour. And then there's <laughs> the McDonald's guy that calls for Todd. Uh, dude, I, I was, I like, well, you know, when you do a lot of radio shows, when they're like, oh, we have a special guest coming in. Like, I was here. You know what I mean? Like, I was here listening yeah. to it, and I was trying so hard not to laugh <laughs> because that dude sounded like when Eminem used to do them sketches. Mm, suck so, it, Eminem. Else has said that. Yeah. Yeah. The first thing I thought of, and... <laughs> It's we great. don't even know who he is. He's in my phone as McDonald's guy. Have you ever met him personally? <laughs> no. No? He's, he's just McDonald's guy. There's a Some McDonald's listener. right on West Liberty. Yeah, that's why, where, that's he said we met. Why can't we just hang out there and bring <laughs> him here? You know what I mean? Let's do it. Yeah. You call me on remote when you do it. Let's bring him <laughs> here. Excuse me, bitch. See another hot button? There you go. <laughs> Look at my toys. Look at my toys. Just sound effects. You're like the, you're like the fucking Jeff Dunham of fucking radio. <laughs> yeah. podcast. I'm really? shitty podcast. When, when in doubt, I'm just going to push a fucking sound and we'll get it going. <laughs> so, like, did you ever hear of grapefruiting? N- oh, oh. I, I don't want to know what that is. It's oh, like Lord. when you get a BJ and okay. the girl cuts a hole in the grapefruit and sucks and pushes with the grapefruit at the same time. Okay, here's my question. Has that really ever happened, though? I, I'm nervous. Apparently, it's a thing. Yes. Yeah. Where? Here, here I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> play it for him. Up and down his shaft and suck the head at the same time. <laughs> I think if that happened to me, she would suck it off. Like, I would look down and be a Ken doll. When it was well, my gone. mom's not listening anymore. I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> the wild departure. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Right, we, we, we got way off track. I wouldn't now, even make it through the grapefruit. And you know what? Me. And he was worried about the word cunt. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I'm real. People are doing uh, gray area, gray area. People are doing uh, video blogs about that and everything. Now, stars. <laughs> Who is it? Tell me. Nah, Say I'll, it. I'll tell you on the Say commercial. Say it. Say it hey, now. I'll, I'll turn the mics off. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you really have to do conflict, all that. There's conflicts of interest if we keep I think saying. Wow. It's off. Oh yeah, you're. Oh right. uh, yeah, yeah, I was off. Okay. There's conflicts of interest. No, I get it. Talk about it. So, I um, get it. <laughs> All right, let's – now, I, we talked about it briefly. Yeah. He, uh, he had Hodgkin's lymphoma. Yeah. And he, uh, he beat it. Oh, yeah. nice. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. Congratulations. My man. Thank you. He's one of those guys that they do the UPMC commercial on. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, I actually did one. Yeah. It's, My name it's, is uh, Matt Light. Wow, I've never even paid you. And I found oh, out Jesus last God. year that I had Hodgkin's lymphoma. And I was having night sweats, and I was having really bad pains in my abdomen area and my back. It was really hard for me to sleep. Within two months, I lost 50 pounds. So I went to my regular family health doctor, and he was like, okay, well, we're going to do a couple tests. I'm hosting an open mic, and I just bring off the first comedian, and I get a phone call from my personal care doctor. He was like, well, uh, we saw your scans. They don't look good, and we think you have lymphoma, possibly. I didn't know what lymphoma was, and I was like, oh, that's fine, you know, we'll get an antibiotic, and, you know, maybe in a couple days I'll be feeling better, and he was like, no, we we want to take you to the Hillman Cancer Center um, and get you further evaluated. We believe you might have cancer. Um, That's the scariest word. The next day I went to UPMC, uh, the Hillman Cancer Center, and I met Dr. Marks. He just told me, he's like, "It's, it's cancer, you know, but... I deal with this a lot, and he's like, and you're going to keep my streak going, uh, and you're going to survive, and I was like, okay, cool. So I went through it. I did uh, six months of chemo. We got the last scan, and he was like, you did it. You know, you're cancer-free. I still did shows when I had cancer, um, but I had to address it on stage because I had no hair, no eyebrows. (laughs) I looked like a glow worm. Comedy's from pain. So, like, it's as, as bad as it sounds, like, I just was like, I'll take something positive out of this. I went to open mics. I, you know, I started doing more and more stand-up. And the stage was my therapy. You know what I mean? It was my way of, of, of expressing just, how I could be and how I felt. Cancer can't stop me from doing what I love, and that's to make other people laugh. 
I was hoping so bad in the middle that it was just like, it's John Cena! Or just, or just something random come popping up. Yeah, now no. it sounds like this is a fucking Make-A-Wish radio no. station. <laughs> Where's no, Jerry Lewis? That, All right, we're taking donations. For 30 cents, you can get mad from the 11D to the 500 so he can get home today. <laughs> no, that, that was, uh, that's huge. And, um... Yeah, that's impressive, man. Anytime I, I, anybody goes through that. You can't interview without even... I'm, no, you know, I get it. You know, yeah, and, I get it. And, and, you know, somebody that can relate, and you say you still talk about it to this day on your yeah, act man, and everything. You and, have to. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a posit- you, you put a positive si- spin on something yeah. so serious and, a, and a, a lighthearted spin, which is awesome. We do yeah. that with um, breast cancer every, yeah. uh, every mm-hmm. October. The guys take their shirts off and give each other breast exam. We have a nurse who... Um, <laughs> Who coaches them and, and we teach? Oh, yeah. And actually, um, I was literally editing it this year, um, the one we did this year. And my fiance found a lump. She never knew how to do a breast exam and yeah. heard the show, and she found a lump. Luckily, um, it was non-cancer. Oh, great! That's but, amazing. Uh, it was very, it was a very tough. T- I mean, you, yeah, I don't man. have to explain to you, it's... but yeah, it was um, a very. Like we were, I was at the. She had her mammogram yeah. the day we were at the Ace Hotel for the city paper. Oh Jesus! And she Christ. squeezed into a goddamn like cocktail dress. Yeah, you know, and her fucking titties are all pushed up, and she was in so much pain. And mm. you know, it's it's a happy moment, but we're trying to like, you know, be cool. With yeah, that. that's still on the back of your mind. So sure. I mean, yeah, you man. said you were at an open mic when you found out. Yeah, and dude, was, I was on stage. I because w- what happened was I uh, I wasn't I wasn't feeling well. Uh, I was I was having trouble walking and I was having night sweat night night sweats. So I, I was sleeping maybe like three hours a week. Like wow. I just couldn't sleep. And uh, then I started to eat healthier because I'm like I'm fucking eat McDonald's. That's what the problem is. Yeah. So I started to eat healthier and like within two weeks like I started to lose a lot of weight. And then a month later, you know, it's fifty fucking pounds. And I'm like, okay, like th- this can't just be from changing my lifestyle. And everyone's saying, you're looking great. You're looking great. What are you doing? Sure enough, I was fucking dying. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. But I, you know, I went to the doctor and and we didn't think it was anything serious. We thought it might have been like, I don't know, like gout or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Uh, Some stomach problems. And, you know, it it was so fucking confusing because I'm hosting this open mic, which I'm doing tonight anyways. uh, And uh, I got off stage. I got a phone call. And he's like, are you by yourself? And I was like, no, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm doing a show. He's like, okay, uh, we think you have cancer. Like, just right over the phone like that. And I was like, what the fuck, man? Yeah. And it's crazy because, like, when you get told that, like, you don't know how to respond because that word is like, you're dead. Mm, yeah, right, right. That's what you think. Yeah, because right. I didn't know anything about cancer. I was like, I'm 23. Like, fuck you. Like, I shouldn't have this. Like, and I right. would even, like, have that attitude when I was going through chemo. Like, I tried to stay positive, but, like, you see people, they're 80, 81, 84, 75 years old, and then there's a 23-year-old. <clears throat> right. And I just was like, what Because the of how young you were and yeah. strong you were, I was, that's, it, it, it helped. gave you strength to fight. But at the same time, you're kind of like, why now? Right. Like, yeah. like, these guys, I get it. Like, it happens through time. And, right. And if it happened to me at that age, I understand right. the process. And then... I was at, you know, I was at the Lemieux Center, and... Uh, That's what he had, right? Yeah, he Lemieux. had Hodgkin's, and I'm sitting there, and I'm like, yeah, this guy next to you, is, he's fine. He, he has the same thing as you, and he fucking died right next to me. Oh, oh wow. And I was oh, like, wow. and, and then they're like, they're trying to do, like, the bone marrow test, mm-hmm. and they take this, like, screwdriver through your spine, but cool. they, they numb you first, but they couldn't get me numb. So I was like, dude, I feel you're I fucking... have that problem with Tim all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just screwing into my fucking spine. And he's, but they're trying to keep your mind off of it. Like, how do you think the pirates are going to... I'm like, they're going to fucking lose like every other year. I was like, <laughs> like but you're ripping my spinal cord away from me. So Did, wow. did it change your style of comedy? Yes like, and no. Did, did you, were you always the guy that we see... In the videos and stuff now, uh, or did that evolve after you you recover? Believe it or not, I think I'm more likable now. Oh, uh, I I think I'm more because I I come off like an asshole when you when you see the videos and you see me online. You know, I play this like wrestling heel, this villain bad guy. Mm-hmm. I but, love that. But in buddy. reality, dude, I'm like one of the nicest guys in the world. You know, if anybody has any problems, I'm like the first person there. I just say shit that. Makes you like you want to say it, but you won't. So right, I'll say it. Right, you know what I mean. But yeah. like, 
I'm a little bit more friendlier, and uh, I it, it's crazy as it, as it sounds, but remember I told you I talked to Tom Green about the cancer thing? Yeah. We both said the same thing, man. It sucks that we had cancer, but if it wasn't for getting that, we might not be where we are yeah. uh, because it changes your life, mm-hmm. you know, 100%. Because for me, I just was like, I don't give a fuck anymore. Mm-hmm, like, right. I've been through hell. Like, I can do anything that I that I put my mind on. Right. And, you know, there's... Like no, Mayor. May, well, yeah, well, I lost. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to talk about that. Yeah. But it just, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, fuck, why not? Why not me? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I wasn't supposed to have cancer. I had it. Then I beat it. I, I wasn't supposed to win Best Comedian. Did it three fucking times. Right. You know, why can't I do three the next times step? in a row? Right. In a not, row. Not just one. Yeah. So. My question, how, I assume you were angry at the world for a period. You probably go through that. You, uh, you probably go through a roller coaster for of the emotions. First, for the first week, I, I, I was, you know, uh, because I just was like, I, I'm one of those guys, I, 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 don't, I don't believe in God. You know, I'm not, not going to push religion on anybody, but like mm-hmm. for me, I just, I never believed in it. And like one of the things that I think triggered me is like, oh yeah, my thoughts and prayers are with you, and and you know, and like when I beat cancer, like oh, look what God did. Yeah. I was like, He put me in this situation, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, like if he if he cured me, who fucking gave me? It? You know what I mean? And, mm-hmm. and I'm not one of those. You know, so Makes sense. I was angry, but I had I had so much fun with it, man. You have to if you don't laugh at tragedy. You're gonna fucking you're gonna die. That's a big thing that's wrong with the world, dude. Now. Everyone's so sensitive. There was times where mm-hmm. like I was getting my chemo treatment, and and what what I would do is beforehand they they test you. They put that fucking fingerprint oxygen sensor on you yeah. on your finger to see. I'd hold my breath so I would flatline, oh, <laughs> so everyone would run in. And I was like, hey man, this is costing me a million dollars. Like this, I'm fucking, I'm milking this. Like it's gonna be worth it. <laughs> right. You know, I was going through elevators and there was old. Guy, there, I'm, there's a story. This old guy cut me off, mm-hmm. and I was like, relax, dude. I'm dying too. It's cool. Like, and my dad. <laughs> My dad's trying to keep cool, like, because, like, for me. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he's trying to hold it together. He's trying to hold it together, you know, for my mom. I'm trying to hold it together for my dad and my mom. Like, yeah. dude, I fucking had no eyebrows, no hair. Like, like it was it was July 1st, and I look like fucking Uncle Fester from the Adams family. Powder. You know man. what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> so, you know, but, you know, it, it, you just go through it, man. And if you can't laugh at shit like that, yeah. then, then you're, you're, you're weak. And I don't want to sound like an asshole, but, right. like, I laughed at my pain and because I knew it was the only... If I'm not going to laugh, I'm going to ball my eyes out. Right. Right, right. So why not enjoy it? You know what I mean? That's, yeah. that's a great way of thinking, and I think a lot of more people should think like that. Um, let's, let's take a break. We took a serious turn for a second there. We were <laughs> talking about uh, our buttholes and, and McDonald's guy, and then we took a serious hey, I, turn. You know what? I'm going to talk about something. Cunt. All right, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> okay, we're back on the page. There's three more video blogs coming out about us now. Right. Thanks, Vinny. Um, but we're going to take our we're going to take our next break and uh, before we go, New Year's Eve, if you're looking for something to do, 10 p.m. at the Crown Plaza Hotel across from South Hills Village Mall, uh, our good buddy um, David K is going to be the MC of the event and uh, the feature on there is the great Mike Wysocki. Cool. And the headliner, uh, the guy sitting at the table with us, Matt Light. I didn't even know I was headlining, to be honest. He just yeah. asked me if I wanted to be on the show, and I said, yeah, pay me. <laughs> so that's cool. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Um, t- <laughs> tickets are $30. and um, I'm not worth that. <laughs> it's, it's a single ticket for $30. Or you, this is what I'm looking into because um, I, I, had already said, I was talking to David earlier. I, I, we're going to have a party at the new house. Mm-hmm. And with the kids, and so we didn't have to get sitters. And the kids have the basement; we, have, the adults, have upstairs. But now I'm kind of rethinking it because might as well just get a room. Yeah, it's is there a package deal? It's two hundred. I don't know what the what the pricing is here. It's two hundred one dollars and eighty cents, and the package includes two tickets, overnight hotel stay, uh, two breakfast vouchers, and all, the single ticket and the room uh, package. Both include hats, noisemakers, champagne toast. And uh, you can get your tickets at slapstickproductions.com. If uh, if you've if you've lived under a rock and you're from this city, and you don't know who Matt Light is, and you want to learn more about Matt Light, it's mattlightcomedy.com, and that'll hook you up 
into all his social media. If Twitter. I paid that through GoDaddy, I don't think I did. Up. It's still <laughs> up. I was on it. I was on it while I was stalking <laughs> you prepping the show. Um, it's it's a double D show. We're here with uh, the great Matt Light. We're gonna take a break. And we'll be back after this. But Taglia Home Inspections, the only place you need to go for pre-purchase, pre-list, or general home inspections. Bataglia Home Inspections is available to discuss how our services can meet your needs. Our impartial and experienced inspectors can help you make an educated real estate investment. Pennsylvania State Certified Real Estate Inspectors. Servicing Beaver County, Butler County, and surrounding areas. For more information, go to BataglioHomeInspections.com or give them a call at 724-987-3770. Does your dog or cat need some much-needed attention and pampering? Money Paws, full grooming salon for dogs and cats. Featuring full-service dog and cat grooming. Bath and brush, haircuts, nails, ears, teeth, and rear-end cleanup. All done with extra love and attention. It's Money Paws. Schedule an appointment today at 412-207-8250. You're listening to the Double D Show on Idiot Radio, taking it to the edge and back. The Brookline Teen Outreach, a nonprofit located in the South Hills of Pittsburgh that offers free programming to youth ages 10 to 18. After school and weekend drop in sessions provide tutoring, access to computers, community service opportunities counseling and life skill program the brookline teen outreach is dedicated to making a difference in people's lives by offering success understanding and hope in our community for more information please visit facebook twitter or their website brooklineteenoutreach.org Hey, it's T.O. Double D from the Double D Show and Idiot Radio. I just want to take a few seconds out to tell you about Wildcat Belts. Ever since we've won the uh, best podcast in Pittsburgh in the city paper, we've been walking around with a championship belt, and we got it from Wildcat Belts. These guys actually make the real belts for WWE, Nathan's Hot Dogs, many corporate companies, and pretty much every famous championship belt you see on TV, these guys make. Andrew and his staff hooked us up with that sweet championship belt that you see in our pictures. Uh, but you can get one for yourself. All you have to do is go to wildcatbelts.com. It's a great idea for fantasy sports, corporate awards, prizes, and so much more. For more information, go visit wildcatbelts.com and tell them Teal Double D and Idiot Radio sent you. Home day! Hey! Wow. We're being that's, here on a Wednesday. That's so 19 or 2016. <laughs> Hump day. You know what's weird? That's the last time I think we did a Wednesday show. Hey, guys, you know what's weird? What's that? Did Jack leave? No. No, no. Oh, okay. I like when the trail went derailment. <laughs> oh, you, you like that. See, I actually most, liked it. Most, if I did that to TJ, it'd probably punch me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I wouldn't do that. Vinny loves that stuff, though. Um, now, we're, we're hanging out with Matt Light. It's a uh, Wednesday Hello. show. And uh, we we touched on it a little bit earlier. We talked about the um, the you ran for mayor of uh, of Pittsburgh. Yeah, kind of, you could say that. Here, let, let's play a clip. <laughs> Matt for mayor, twenty seventeen. Matt for mayor, twenty seventeen. Oh my god, am I endorsing you? Is that what's happening? Yeah, you just said. I think everyone who rides bicycles supports Matt Light. I would endorse Matt Light huh. for the for 2017. For the Super Bowl. Matt for Mayor 2017. TV man, hallelujah, man. Yes, you got all of our votes. Hey, he knows. Hey. We voting for this man hey, right here. This man right yeah, here. He's far, oh, yeah, no, right. he's rocking. Yeah, ready? All right, ready? Matt for Mayor 2017. Yeah. Hi, I'm Nikki Benz. Yeah, Nikki. Nikki Benz. For Mayor of Pittsburgh 2017. Make sure you vote for him. Hey, I want you to vote for Matt Light for Mayor of Pittsburgh 2017. He's a good guy and will lead you well. Likes to Preston from Jackass. Yeah, that's all that. If you don't vote for me, you're a dumb asshole. <laughs> Jesse May. 
The, yeah, real. The um, the guy that does your videos. That's Dustin Dowling, Dustin. man. He's fucking great. You know what's man. funny? So is, good is I, when we were the Village Idiots back in like 2004. Yeah. We before we we hired Tim. Yeah. Well, we went on Craigslist and put an ad looking for a co-host, but he lived all the way out in Butler. At yeah, the yeah. Time. He, I have a phone call audition of Dustin calling into our show. Are you serious? He was go. Did he go by like Beardy Boy or something yeah, yeah, back yeah, in the yeah, day? Yeah, dude, he used to like get a lot of hits on on YouTube, man. Yeah, he he he's like, very talented, dude. I, I'm telling you, man. Like, like I I'm now, a, now I wish we hired him instead of Tim. Bro, yeah, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> like, I thought I'm, that was a ding. <laughs> like I'm a I'm a funny guy, I think, and I think my videos, you know, show that. But if it wasn't for him, man, like I wouldn't be fucking anywhere dude he's he makes me 10 times funnier than i really am that's, dude. A, that's why I like when i made the uh the countdown video i was like man i was like dustin does all those good videos i hope this i know i loved it man gay. it was great no <laughs> it was great dude i here's the thing about running for mayor and, and this is the honest to god truth is we were we were getting real people like people were actually screenshotting the, the their... young the young republican party Wanted me to run as, as a Republican, as a Republican, and here, here's the here's the fucking truth. And, and you know, people are gonna argue, and I don't care. We could have won, dead serious. But you didn't. It but like I didn't you got to a point to. where you took you didn't take it serious. No, anymore. and here's why: because I knew I was moving. I moved to Glenshaw, so okay. I knew I, there was no way that even if You're I moving did out win, of the city, then and I can't take anybody's money for this. And then we did Matt for Mayor shirts last year two years ago that i was making money off of so there would have been a huge conflict between uh, that and i was like you know what i'm not even dealing with it we're just gonna troll it and mm -hmm. then six months before the election we're done doing it yeah and then let it go and if people somehow that day decide to vote for me fuck it so um we don't know the results uh, obviously we dickhead bill peduto won <laughs> right but we don't know where I place, but we can find out at the county courthouse uh, downtown in the county office building, the sixth floor. So one time when I when I feel like paying thirteen bucks to park down there, I'm gonna find <laughs> out if I came in like fifth behind Juju Smith Schuster's bike, fucking <laughs> Phil Kessel's hot dogs, and, <laughs> and, and, like wherever I am. But like I just wanted second place so that I could yeah. tell my kid one day, you know, Daddy. Finish second yeah. place for fucking mayor. That's awesome, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was the that was the whole point. We just wanted that fun. We were just mocking Trump. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. You know, and as soon as Trump was like, "I'm running," we're like, "Fuck this guy. We're running too." <laughs> if he can win, why can't I? Right. So. Uh -huh. And, it, and it, what was funny is uh, Matt was like, he went on the social media the day of the election. and was like, "I will pick you up in my Cadillac." And drive oh, yeah. downtown to vote. Yo, and then like three people message me. They're like, I need a ride. And I just said, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's awesome. <laughs> I wouldn't expect it any other way. That's that's the, uh, that's the funny. Yeah, man. You know, I, if I got 20 votes, I would have been happy. You know what I mean? Like, why not? One vote was cool. Yeah. One yeah. guy voted Matt fucking light. I yeah. don't know if that counts. I think it does. It's Michael Cohen, I think. Dude. Yeah, he's funny <laughs> yeah. dude, man. He's, a, he's, I like dude. Him. he's been in here. He, Good yeah. dude. He, um, he he hosted our last comedy show. We run shows out of here. Thanks every for six inviting months. me. I appreciate it. Well, like, I don't think we can afford you. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it. When's your next one? Well, well let's get you. Um, when when's your downtime? We're doing a fe an all female show. Oh, okay. Is that um, what, a domestic what's this? violence one in February? Oh, is that show called No One's Gonna Laugh? God. Are you are you are you slow in February? I mean they are. Are you? <laughs> I'm maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Who's on the show? I'm curious. I, I didn't book it yet. Okay. Uh, I, I, I I have the charity booked. It's Carissa's Army. We're gonna um, Okay. We're gonna do. I was thinking like close to Valentine's. There's there's not enough there. there's not enough female comics in Pittsburgh that, okay. for you to get a good show. I, I had uh, Sam, don't, don't Sam say, B. Don't okay. She's Samantha Bentley. Fucking hysterical. She's the female Kevin Hart. She's great. She, Sam's fucking really is. funny. Yeah, but I was gonna I was gonna have her. There's a there's a there's a few. Uh, you could do it. Yeah, you could do it. I'm just biased. I just don't think women are funny. I don't. Right. I'm an asshole, though. I'm just one of those guys no. that. But I, I don't. I'm, just I'm, like, I'm realistic. To, I'm trying to <laughs> like, switch it up a like little bit. Like, these guys are like, oh, there should be more women. Well, then let them take your spot. Let them do your show. Fuck yeah. it. Yeah, you know right. what I mean? Yeah. Absolutely. If they're that funny, 
Right. You put them on your show and then see them bomb and then then blame the audience. <laughs> I'm just, you know what I mean? I just, I keep, whatever. Keeping it real I'm, with I'm, Matt I'm Light. I'm jerk. Well, <laughs> let's, after the new year, I'm, we're going to do another one in the spring. Let's do it. If we can get it to your schedule and we can afford you. Yeah. Um, Buy me a belt and I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> you make me a fucking belt, I'm in. <laughs> nice. I got the rivets. <laughs> <laughs> I just take the plates off of that one. Yeah. And there we go. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, we'll, let, let's, um, let's work on May. Let's, okay. Let's work on May. Yeah. And, uh, we'll, um, Hopefully the Penguins are out of the we playoffs. We have a budget. We have a sponsor, all that. Look so, at that. Um, you can afford me. Yeah, I hope. <laughs> 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 He's like, I hope. <laughs> Come on, you got you got your fucking Tyke Redman Pirates jersey on right now. You can. <laughs> this was from when I was fat. <laughs> like I'm swimming in this shirt. It's a nice like, shirt. Yes, yes, we know Tom yes, Lost Way. Yes, Tom yes. Lost Way. Tom Lost Way. <laughs> you have the new yeah. Subway thanks, guy. Thanks, Do you have Todd. anybody on the back of it? No, no. That's the smartest way because that guy to, gets traded the next fucking year. I used anyways. to do that. I used to like you know even with football. Like I don't even like you know like. Getting behind somebody, yeah. and then they turn out to be a fucking See, I will buy. Uh, I just I social media is ruining sports. Do you know my last jersey I just bought? What? Ryan Shazier. Shazier? Yeah. See, when did you buy it? How'd that go? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You buy I'm, it Monday? I, I, I won't I, buy a jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't tell me you bought it Monday. <laughs> Please tell me you didn't buy it Monday. No, I'm Sunday. not one of the, I didn't <laughs> jinx him. But I did buy Artie Burns. He's having an off season. You know what I mean? He's, yeah. not, he's not doing that well. And then they leave so quick now, Yeah, too. man. Well, that's, that's it. I won't, I won't buy a jersey unless they're a Hall of Famer. You get the quarterback. Is. You get yeah. Roethlisberger, and other than but, that. But you know what? Fat guys, 350-pound guys walking around with a seven Yo, jersey. Just, <laughs> just get Casey Hampton, and you're for fucking you life. Yeah, it's, I, I, have, I think I have uh, a bunch of Harrisons. I have a Ben. You know, like, so oh, the, yeah, I, I sh- have... Yeah, fat dudes need two numbers. Yeah. I, I had you I had every Harrison numbers. jersey out there, and then he when he went to the Bengals, I gave away. I was like, "Fuck you!" Went to Bengals, yeah. was, gave all my yo, shit away. It was like a Baker, breakup. You gotta yeah. get, yo, know, I would love to see your ass in a fucking Boswell jersey. You look like an actual an actual size Boswell. This motherfucker's gonna lose his foot to diabetes, and he's got a kicker's jersey. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker looked like a Jolly Rancher in a swimsuit. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> With a oh, headband. Shit. He's going to lose his book. <laughs> With a headband. <laughs> Yeah, let's book Jeff Reed to come on this show, man. We fucking we get so him on. I, I did something with Jeff Reed. I've actually partied with that guy. On, at 100.7, um, Bubba and I were doing... Uh, That's scary. It was like <laughs> I was the goalpost and Bubba was supposed to kick... Um, Footballs and I said something like really inappropriate, and I don't. I mean, I, that was did about, Jeff get pissed? Like, yeah, he kind of like blew it off. Went to the bathroom. I said, started so, busting I said open something about fucking <laughs> paper towel paper dispensers. <laughs> I, I said something. Motherfucker! What you say, paper towel? I said something about yeah, you like balls or something, and. <laughs> Bro, how, Bobba I mean, just looked at me like what that dude the? got thrown out of a preseason football game. How fucking drunk do you have to be? I feel like Jeff Reed every Sunday still shows up to fucking Steeler tailgates in his fucking jersey. <laughs> is, he, is he back in town? I thought I saw him back. No, he in sells town. cars in, in North like, Carolina. Yeah, yeah. we were supposed know. to do a roast with him last year, uh, but he had to work. Which it felt so good to know <laughs> you're doing better than Jeff Reed. Because like, <laughs> I was like, because I was like Jeff, I'm like, you got you gonna do the show? He's like, oh, I don't know. I gotta ask my boss. And I was like, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> So that's some funny. So that's you know, great. We, we touched a little bit about it, um, it off the air. Yeah. The the Matt Light show. You're onto something good there, and then the building mm-hmm. moved, and then you had to stop, right? Yeah. So I was with the Trib Live Radio, which I have nothing but good things to say about them. You know, they they took care of me. That you know, they they did everything that they could for me. Uh, but they were in the Clark Building downtown, which was so fucking convenient, and I would use that parking pass for Steeler games. It was awesome. <laughs> nice, yeah. Uh, but they left, and they went to the fucking Mills Mall, Mall yeah, where think... nobody goes, and I, I didn't want to drive it's, out we there. Pa- Tim, we passed that on the it, way yeah, to Exposure did, yeah. Gentlemen's Club, 218 Clearfield Pike in Catanic, PA. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> You're talking about patting yourself on the back. Yeah, right? So I just, you know, I just was like, you know, it, it's just not... 
uh, in best interest for me to be with them anymore. Far, Here's yeah. the thing. I was, and I'm a little filthy. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and they're a conservative newspaper, so... We uh, we had a little bit of but 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 everyone was cool with me, uh, and then I was in talks with a couple other places, and uh, I have something really cool coming up soon. The Matt Light Show will be back, uh, nice. and we're actually going to have a, a female co-host. Okay, nice. or not? Yeah, we tried that. She's Vinny from. She actually uh, used to live in Carrick, which is cool because we're right around here. Uh-huh. Yeah. and we blacked out at this bar here last Christmas. Oh, nice! nice. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, That's how you so, do it. So yeah, uh, her name's Jamie. As long as she's still on board, she's going to be joining the show. Well, uh, it's going to be fun. When you get more details, you're welcome to come back and Fuck break. Yeah, you man. can break it with us, and uh, we'll we'll always support it. And any anything you need putting it together. You Likewise, can, man. I'm always here us. for you guys. Yeah, I yeah, heard that on. shit you just tried to say, motherfucker. What's that? Female co-host and I. <laughs> I did what? Yeah. You do. He what did he do? I, I what did he what? didn't do nothing. What did he do? See, he's chill when it's all dudes, but you bring a girl in here and he, hey, let me see that ass. You know, <laughs> then we're, we're like all them fuckers in Hollywood. Look at them floppy ass titties. Let me see them floppy titties. Oh, I think I did. TV time out, man. How's that TV time out? Pull the pull the audio. Number one. I'm not pulling. All right, pull the audio. If you're gonna bring a female here, it better be good ground round. All right. <laughs> Look, we got good company here. I literally have a Vinny folder on every time that he's offended a female. We scared the last one off, so, remember? One time we were doing a bit. Was remember. that the intern? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Was that the intern? Did you guys get that too? I just got an Amber Alert. Was that? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, we were we were gonna do a bit one time. We, we have a we have a blind guy, blind Brian. He uh, oh my he god, he tried to be a comic. P- comic, yeah, uh, he, he, but he got banned everywhere. He was, a, <laughs> he was trying to be radio, and then we kind of brought him in, and and we took him. You know, we we like the socially unacceptable here. Yeah. So we brought him in, and he was a staple like McDonald's guy on the yeah. show. And we were gonna do blind Brian makeovers. Okay. And he was gonna do. Dude, did you ever see his girlfriend? No, he Neither has a girlfriend. He. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, so we were, we were gonna, Got him. We were going to do makeovers, and um, we had a girl picked out and everything, and Vinny called her. He's like, called her fat ass ground round, and she left crying. And then I had to put out fires because she worked at the place that we. So when he sits there and plays the innocent role by far. He is not. He's got no. a little bit of Matt no. Lauer to him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's fine. So when you when you did your podcast, yeah. was Chris Jericho like your biggest interview that you had? Yeah, dude, and it was so cool that he did it. Like, I never thought he was going to do it. That was an awesome interview, by the way. Oh, thank yeah. you, man. It, you know, right he, came, he literally came into the studio. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, dude, he had fucking, I picked him up. He's coming soon. Like ne- He's coming Five April. days before WrestleMania. Yeah, I think it's like April 3rd. Yeah, to Jurgles. So. Yeah, it was so cool because he's just out of nowhere started following me on Twitter. I was like, what the fuck? And That's awesome. Yeah, and then Fozzie followed me, and then I tweeted out at Fozzie. I go, hey, listen, I know you have a show. You know, why, don't, why doesn't Jericho come out to me? So Jericho reached out. He goes, where's your station? You know, can you pick mm-hmm. me up at Diesel? I was like, yeah. So I picked him up. I brought him over. And, like, to me, like... I'm trying so hard to fucking keep my cool. Like, I just want to be like, that match with Shawn Michaels was so awesome. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I'm like, but, you know, right before we went on air, he's like, what Jericho do you want? Do you want Fozzie or do you want Y2J? I'm like, oh, dude, I want Y2J. So, dude, like, he even says this in interviews. He doesn't put people on the list. People ask him, like, will you put me on the list? Will you put me on yeah. the list? If you listen to that interview, he put me on the list, like, instantly. I was like, yeah. holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so I got, like, I got like, this clipboard signed by him, and uh, That's awesome. I went to, yeah, we went to, uh, we went to go see the Fozzie show. We were invited to go hang out with him afterwards. Nice. I didn't because I didn't want to be that guy. Yeah. I didn't want to overdo Then you become fanboy. Yeah, I just was like, you know what, man, I appreciate what you did for me. You know, we have mutual friends, and... And, and they were all there, and they're like, Matt, come out. I'm like, no, 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 it's okay. But in reality, like, the yeah, only like, reason why I didn't go to. is because my dumb fucking girlfriend was with me. <laughs> and she had a headache, and I was like, all right, yeah, Chris, I'm not going to go. Oh. And meanwhile, I, I almost put her on the fucking list. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, you know. I'd be like, you gotta and then, go. And then you get the. Uh, yeah, Jericho's not fucking me, so, you know yeah. what I mean? You gotta pick one <laughs> yeah, or the other. Right. <laughs> Conflict of interest. Yeah. Um,. Now, the porn star thing that you do. Love it. Who, yeah, I don't blame you. Don't your, blame me at all. Out of all the porn stars that you've interviewed, Ugh. who's your favorite? I got Mickey two. I got, I got, oh, I got two. 
Nikki's not number one or two. Yeah. Uh, Maddie O'Reilly uh, is actually now a personal friend of mine, which is crazy. Like wow. I stay in touch with her. So Maddie's number one, uh, but I never interviewed her. We just hung out and yeah. we went out and we partied. Uh, but the number one uh, is probably Abigail Mack. Okay. Abigail Mack is like really fucking cool. I'm not familiar with her work. Oh, dude, no. when when you see her body, it's fucking unreal. Like it's she it's just look right, right, now. right now. Dude, Abigail she, Mack. Abigail Mack. Right. She is so fucking hot, dude. Like and and she's there's always pictures of her on the gym, like working out. She's got like an amazing. Bo- she's got abs, but like not enough abs to beat the fuck out of you. Yeah, where it's not <laughs> right. Like because you're like, not jealous. And I love when guys are like, "Yo, I don't need a girl that has all them abs." Like, dude, girls don't want fucking man titties either. So yeah. relax, dude. You know. <laughs> But she was by far the coolest. Uh, That's why I Donald Duck when I have sex. Oh, uh, there you I'm go. A t-shirt. So what is that? Explain to everyone. Well, you just wear a T-shirt and no bottoms. Oh, so you're that dude that goes to Sandcastle <laughs> yeah. with a fucking white shirt. <laughs> you know, I can still see your titties yeah, through the wet. Right. <laughs> I love it. Damn. That's great. You're the Kevin Owens of fucking. You just <laughs> yeah. wear a T-shirt while yeah. you fuck. We're going to talk about that. Um, when we, because I, I have a little bit of wrestling in there, okay. Too, but, um, you you kind of struck struck a nerve of what I was. Uh, are you good on Ooh. time still? Uh yeah, I just seven forty. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll get out of here before that. Okay, but uh, all right, let let's just jump into the next thing. Where did the idea for the videos? Damn. To, after your he- headlining at the improv, the stunner, the the Stone Cold, you did the Shawn Michaels, okay. you did the Undertaker one too, yeah. right? Yeah, with Holly. Okay, so here's how they all started. Uh, I was last year. I was moving to Los Angeles. I was having a big going away show, uh, and like two and a half weeks before my final show in Pittsburgh, my girlfriend who was supposed to be moving with me, who we were getting a place together with, broke up with me. Wow. Yeah. And she was like, I'm moving on my own. You know, my friend Caroline's going to move from, you know, Michigan. We're both going. But fucking good luck, Matt. And I was like, oh, this is, this sucks. <laughs> you know, so, so now yeah. I got like 350 people coming to my final fucking show. And I'm like, I can't just rip them off and be like, thanks for your money. I'm staying in Pittsburgh, assholes. <laughs> so I talked to the GM Wintis and I was like, what do I do, man? How do I get out of this so that I'm the good guy? He's like, you're a wrestling fan. Do something wrestling. Oh, I was nice. like, oh. you got the green light. Yeah, I was like, okay, how about this? How about you're Vince McMahon, you kind of fire me, right? And then I give you the Stone Cold Stunner, and then everybody's happy I'm still in Pittsburgh. And he's like, okay, yeah, cool, that'll work. So um, we did that, and we just that went viral. Dude, we posted, we recorded just because it was funny. Yeah. And, dude, it was on Good Morning America. Yeah. Right, has, right, right, right. There's wow. over 20 million views on social media. Like, I don't fucking know. We kicked it up to, um, we kick it to upstairs. Like, <coughs> so the, the penthouse would be Howard. Yeah. Just below Howard in the suite below him is Kid Chris. Okay. And we have a relationship with him. And as soon as I seen it, I immediately... So if you're ever in Cincinnati, Ohio... Cincy, up, Cincy, yeah, that morning show. Kid Chris. He shared it, dude. Yeah, I yeah. kicked it, I oh, kicked it up to you. him. And yeah. Because we used to work for him. Okay. And I and he's a huge wrestling fan. Yeah. And um, he, you would... They would love you there. Oh, that's so awesome, man. If you're man. ever there, let me yeah. know. I'll kick him an email, and he'll um, he'll definitely bring you. Yeah, back. and then so I did the video, and, and next thing you know, I have like 400 fucking requests on Facebook, like instantly. <laughs> so I add, 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 because you want to you know, build your brand, and you mm-hmm. sure, yeah. I know why they they saw you know. And I'm getting all these messages, like, come to India. I'm like, bro, like, fuck no. Like, <laughs> India. Absolutely not. But, but I appreciate it. Like, I don't even know what they time it is. They wanted you to come there. to India? Dude, I got people that fucking was like, send, send me the fucking Austin shirt you wore. India, Is that the great Kali coming out? <laughs> That's a fucking snake charm. Oh, uh, there you go. <laughs> So uh, you're getting all these um, requests. So they're, you know, they're requesting me, and and, uh, and then, I, you know, I was like, well, fuck, man. Now people want to come to my shows and see this. Yeah. Because I got to keep it going. Now you got to top it. Yeah. And I was like, how do I top this? I'm like, dude, if I put a woman through a fucking table, everyone will just lose it, and either it'll end, and I don't have to do this anymore, right? Or it'll do well. And it was like right in the middle because the show I did, we did a Groupon for that show, so it was all promos for that show because it was a last minute show. So there's like 300 people there, and they weren't Matt Light fans, though. 
Right. Mm -hmm. And like this, she's just hosting the show, and she's like, I want to thank Matt Lighton. And out of nowhere, it goes pitch black. I'm dressed like the Undertaker behind her, (laughs) and I throw her through a wooden fucking table. (laughs) And there's like conservative old women from like Upper St. Clair, like, what the fuck did you just do to her? (laughs) Like, she's motionless. I'm sticking my tongue out holding this fucking fake belt that I have made. And they're like, dude, like, you can't do that. <laughs> and I was like, okay, maybe I'll do it at my own show. So then at my own show, we did the, uh, I jumped off a ladder. I put, uh, that was the WrestleMania the yeah, against yeah, Vince yeah. McMahon. Uh-huh. Yeah, and uh, Sean was always my favorite growing up, and yeah. I had to do something of his. Uh, and, dude, like, I, it's so funny because the more and more I watch it, I've never been more proud of anything I've ever done comedy-wise. Because <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hit it. Perfectly. Uh. <laughs> so that was my favorite, man. Well, we we touched on it briefly. Yeah. Earlier, your your buddy. Uh, oh fuck. Jordan York. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've traveled across the Seal oh, City shit. all day to find out where you'd be pandering to next, and I can't find your ass. So. I'll go to where your audience is, the internet, because you don't do any real shows. You're never in person. You're not performing where there's me. I sell on every goddamn show in this city. I am Pittsburgh. (laughs) I am the Steel City Hill. Jordan York, if you think you're great in Pittsburgh, here's what we're going to do. We are going to do a boxing match. I don't give a shit how many (laughs) rounds it is because you're not going to last one. And here's the rules. The money goes to charity. If I win, it goes to my charity. If you win, it goes to whatever charity. You know what? It should go to full sale so you can learn how to produce fucking music. That's where it should go. (laughs) Here's the deal. I am going to put this title and my career on the line. If I lose to your bitch ass, I will quit comedy immediately. Like you did six years ago when you went by the name Young Rose. True story. Where's that fucking guy at? He doesn't exist. Just like you're following. It's all fake. So now you have two options. Either A, you can accept and be a man or you can sit behind your screen. You can put down your phone and just walk the fuck away. The <laughs> like, choice is yours, your fucking oh, Yeah, his little <laughs> fucking shit. So what happened was, man, like this dude never did shows. And immediately after that video, he booked two shows to like prove that he's like going on tour. <laughs> he's like the Jordan York tour. And then oh, it was two fucking dive bars in New Kensington. <laughs> 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 it was like, oh, okay. So uh, we wanted to invade the wine, but I was like, dude, if we go there with five dudes, that means we're the whole fucking audience. Like, I don't want anyone. To, like, if you look at the well, pictures. I, you can bring us. Yeah, I don't know, though. You don't, I don't know if you want to roll, roll in deep in New Ken. Oh, no, dude. I <laughs> I'll step on a fucking needle or something, <laughs> man. Like, so, you know, fuck that, dude. I just, it, my whole thing is I, I don't like people that pander so much. Like, he's like, oh, I'm Pittsburgh this. I'm, you're not even from here, man. Uh, like, I, I got an exclusive. He, his new single just dropped. Oh, Jesus Christ. You want some butt You want a I thought that voice sounded familiar. I know, right? <laughs> That's actually it was it actually that it was a good song so it couldn't have been his. <laughs> <It was well-produced. laughs> yeah. I just want to beat the fuck out of him, man. I just I just want I just I don't know, man. I just don't like him, man. And, and it all stems. And people always ask, well, where did it stem from? What happened was, uh, it was you know, it was like two and a half years ago. Uh, his management sent me a message about doing a CD release party show for him. And it kind of pissed me off because we were Facebook friends and I've talked to him before. Like, you fucking message me. Yeah. Don't have your management. Yeah, don't big time. Yeah, man. don't <laughs> fucking, right? So then I said, okay, yeah, I'll do it. You know, tell me more details. Right. Uh, and, I, and I looked at the event page. It was $25 a ticket. And uh, they're like, yeah, we're expecting like 300 people. I go, oh, cool. What does it pay? And his management was like, oh, it doesn't pay anything. It's just exposure. And I go, what? Uh. I'm like, I have more fucking, I have a bigger following than you. I'm like, you're making seven grand off this show. If everybody's donating their fucking time, where's that money go? Right. So, you know, I just was like, fuck that. <laughs> um, I just got a, another uh, single just dropped. Oh, yeah? We got one? Can I hear it? I want to take you to a game Oh, this is my song, bro. I play th- I play that at karaoke. No- I mean, not at karaoke on the fucking jukebox nonstop. 
Yeah, yeah. I, that's my uh, that's my jam too. I love that. Me and Tim play that. One. Yeah, we do. Riding Absolutely. out to exposure. Two one eight Clearfield Pike, <laughs> Catanning, PA. Good yeah, people. Pat- one of my, one of my stuff on the back, man. One of my favorite things to do in the world is. You know, you can get that AMI app or TouchTunes app. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, like, even if you're not at the bar and you know your friends are, you can oh. put $20 in that jukebox and ruin their fucking <laughs> yes. night. Yes, yes, absolutely. They have it downstairs. Yeah, Dude, absolutely. it is so, – It is. I played Barney's Christmas – the whole fucking album. <laughs> Dude, it was the greatest thing ever. I've every- done that in the bar. Where yeah. I, like, people don't know or you're just, doing it. And, you people and you're watch? just like, yeah. And you're like, oh, it's the best. this guy like, keeps going to play Freebird. And I'm like, fuck him. Because nobody is getting <laughs> laid that night. <laughs> right. Like, in, unless you're in a relationship and you've already sealed the deal. Uh-huh. Like, it's not going to fucking happen. Exactly. Like, there's no way... You can go up to a girl while SpongeBob's fucking singing and say, "Oh, what's up, girl? How you doing? Want to dance to this shit?" <laughs> we get freaky. No, all right. let's let's take our last break and then we'll come back and wrap okay. up. Matt's got to get out of here. Um, we'll take our last break and we'll, we'll be back right after. All right. For all your heating and cooling needs, service and installation, contact our friends at Complete Comfort Heating and Air Conditioning. 412-513-3001. Doesn't your family deserve Complete Comfort? Vapor Connection in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Premier vaping lounge and proprietor of vaping supplies. We carry everything from mods and accessories to the widest selection of e-liquids in Pittsburgh. Visit our shop in Blahnox and sample e-juice from America's best suppliers. Vapor Connection, Pittsburgh's premier vapor and shop lounge. Vape easy at the Vapor Connection. For more information, go to VaporConnectionLLC.com. You're listening to the Double D Show on Idiot Radio. Taking it to the edge and back. Looking for a great place to have your next party or celebration? Exposure Gentlemen's Club, 288 Clearfield Pike, Catanning, PA, is a great place to have guys or girls night out, birthday, divorce, and bachelor party. For details about private VIP party rooms and group rates, call 724-548-8730 or visit clubexposure.com. Come by yourself or with a group and have a night out you deserve. Looking for a creative idea for meetings, business lunches, and special events? Call Spiels on Wheels, food truck and catering, and take the stress away. For more information, call them at 724-244-9881 or on Facebook at facebook.com slash spielson.wheels. Bataglia Home Inspections, the only place you need to go for pre-purchase, pre-list, or general home inspections. Bataglia Home Inspections is available to discuss how our services can meet your needs. Our impartial and experienced inspectors can help you make an educated real estate investment. Pennsylvania State Certified Real Estate Inspectors. Servicing Beaver County, Butler County, and surrounding areas. For more information, go to BataglioHomeInspections.com or give them a call at 724-987-3770. Looking for a DJ for your next party, corporate event, wedding, or special occasion? Contact Rich Who Entertainment, the official DJ of Idiot Radio. For free quote and information, give them a call at 412-266-1266. That's 412-266-1266. Rich Who Entertainment, DJs for all occasions. We're back on a Wednesday. Constipated show. Yes. Oh, listen to this music, dog. <laughs> I'm in the club. <laughs> I, I just got, I, I couldn't find the Beastie Boys and other shit that we use, so I just had to find. I just hurried up and grabbed new shit. I like it. I All like of it. your music sounds like it came from a low budget strip club. <laughs> <laughs> well, well leave, that <laughs> leave that alone. <laughs> yeah, Bottoms up on fifty one. No, no. We only uh, bada a, bing. There's bada only bing. one that we get. <laughs> bada bing. All right, we're getting low on time. There's a couple okay. of things we'll, we'll we'll crush out real quick. Yes. Steelers, where you see them at this year? Uh, Super Bowl. Super nice. Bowl. Yeah. Me too. Me too. You, Super Bowl. Do you have them winning? Fuck yeah! If they're get the only thing I'm worried about is if they finally get over the hump and beat New England, that's going to be their Super Bowl. Right. Right. And they're going to be so fucking. Like, so oh my god, we fucking did it. Weeks. No, I don't, because we're not going to win in Gillette. Like we're not gonna win in Foxborough. There's no fucking way. I agree. You I know agree. what I mean? And they, they're top of the AFC. Then. Who? New England? Yeah. We're well, tied. No, but we have we're, we're tied. tied. But if you win, you have the t- you can lose another game 
and have that tiebreaker. Oh. You just you got whoever we wins the, this game is. We win home the field. Patriots, then we're through. I'm so telling that. it's it's going to be you know our defense is depleted right now. That's that's one of the things that scares me. Dude, the middle. No. I mean, they signed you know they signed Shane Sean Spence, Spence back, back, which yeah. is really nice. I mean, it's an, you know another Miami guy. Uh, yeah. But man, fucking Chase ears is is all of is the whole thing. Like you saw. Uh, you know, they were struggling to fucking make calls. Look so confused. Right. So yeah. confused out there. I mean, that's why Will Gay was coming out on third down and shit, because he knew the fucking defense was getting exactly, all the signals. Exactly, exactly, yeah. You know, so, you know, I hope the Super Bowl, I I got a lot of money. I win five grand if they win the Super Bowl. Oh, wow. So I'm hoping that, that it happens. You nice. see PA Super Bowl? What, uh, no. No? No, I see them one and done. The Eagles. Yeah, I think they're a fucking fraud. They only beat one team with a above Winning 500 record, record yeah. and that was Carolina. Uh, Seattle beat the fucking brakes off them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. If they Seattle did. can get a home game in the divisional round, then they're going to be fine. So you know, win the division. Who's your NFC pick in Seattle? No, dude, I'm going to go with Atlanta. Atlanta? Yeah, I think Atlanta still is, is dangerous because people are talking about Minnesota. Fuck them. You need a quarterback. You're not right. going to go to the Super Bowl without a quarterback. Simple I mean, as that. Case Keenum's doing well and all, but I don't think he's he, yeah. not going to Mar- get Mar- just, you know, Mark Rippin. I mean, the stats say, you know, you're not going to go back to the Super Bowl if you didn't win the previous year. And it hasn't been done, I don't think, since the Bills. Mm. But I just, I just, I don't know, man. There's something about that Atlanta team, that offense is just fucking, it has firepower. It's prolific, too. but at times, ours can be. We have the fire, the fire. We're the most talented team in the NFL. Oh, I agree. hundred percent. Hands down. But, but I think our biggest weakness and you know, I, I don't know what your opinion is, is Tomlin. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of his whatsoever. I don't like him. I, I don't like how when people called him a cheerleader, I said 100%, you right. know, he mm-hmm. puts guys in the doghouse cause he doesn't have a fucking personal relationship with Thank him. Thank you. Right. Thank you. And, and you know, he gets the, too, he gets too emotional in the game. He becomes a hard ass, dude. You're Pittsburgh. Smack him in the mouth. Yeah. Right. Simple as that. And that's what Bill Cowher. That's why people like Bill Cowher. Yeah. That's what he used to do. He grabbed he by the face mask, yell at him, spit in their face. You, you know, know what my home. problem with Tomlin is? And and there's a cop out here. Number one, you know, Mister Ambassador of Ireland or whatever the fuck he was, got suckered into a deal. Mm. Number two, Tomlin. You know, everybody's here. I'm black. Okay, I get it. I'm black. Right. But I'm Wait, not Tomlin's just... black? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe just because I'm black, I'm going to go black. Yeah, okay? Yeah. I want you to be able to do the job. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and I don't believe in a coach. You're a coach. Don't be a coach that I'm your, I'm your best friend. Do what's right for the team. Right, that's right, a, right. That's a major problem. My man. biggest problem with Tomlin is is that like when people say, like he, he they play down to their opponents, <laughs> and then the number one argument is, well, you know, he's never had a losing season. Well, you have fucking Ben Roethlisberger, yeah. Le'Veon Bell, and Antonio Bryant. How do you lose fucking six games? <laughs> right. Exactly. How's that exactly. possible? It, you, it's your fault because see, you're not preparing this team. When's the last time we've had a fucking bye week? Dude, we were twelve and four. The last great record we had, we were twelve and four, and we went on the road and played a little fucking dickhead named Tim Tebow and the fucking yeah, Denver Broncos. And what the fuck happened? And there next year, well, you're not even there. My, my thing yep. is, is I, I can't stand the fact that we're not prepared for to play after a bye week. What, what, except for this year, how many years can you count? Last three years, dude. Look at look at after inst- the bye week. You know, look at social media. Like, and I'm not. I love Juju Smith and I love all those guys, but look, you read, you watch them because you know they all want to be celebrities now. It's not about just being athletes. I think right. social media, like we were talking about the jerseys earlier. It's I think social media has ruined athletes the way that we grew up, dude. Because I, they the, were immortal before. Yeah, now I see and now them. Fuck, regular people yeah, like I'm like, dude, I can, like I see Juju that lives uh, in a fucking South Side apartment. I see that he's doing nothing. I'm like. Hit the fucking gym, even though you know players in the seventies were fucking smoking crack and yeah. not even Snort practicing. Lines. Yeah, but like I want that fucking image that this is all that they fucking do. Mm. Like, that's what I want to see. And when and when guys like me who have fucking asthma and run a six zero forty, you know, critique these guys, I just want to see them nonstop lifting weights, fucking right. uh-huh. eating protein, shooting up fucking Adderall. I don't give a fuck what they do. Just, yeah. just win. Right. Exactly. Wow. I'm, yeah. I'm just tired of playing down the, the lesser I, teams. You know what? Here's the deal. If I was mayor of Pittsburgh, I would have been coach. <laughs> and you made yourself coach. Yeah. And the first thing I would have done is, is brought up some fucking nobody 
from the practice squad this next week against New England to blow Brady's fucking knees out, whatever his, whatever the fine the was. The Kurt Rambis. Yeah, you're getting double that. I will give you that money. You're never going to make the team anyways. Break his fucking leg, and guess what? Seven rings. Yep, there it is. Simple as that. You know what's interesting about what you said? <clears throat> Tomlin, I, I, I just don't get the dude. You know, he's not nice to people. He really isn't. Don't want to sign an autograph. No. But he wants to hug a player. I, yeah. don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. And then when the team gets out there, they lose, and he wants to fire a quarterback. He's just a robot, dude. He just says the same fucking thing every week, every press conference. I, I, obviously. I designed, I designed an obviously shirt. It never caught on. I thought it was yeah. like, we were gonna, we sell, sold it in our idiot radio shop. Like, well, it was Village Idiot yeah. shop back then. Before we uh, went oh, back, oh my god! I don't know. It never uh, caught on. So but uh, we, well, we have our new Bullet Club shirts. They're coming out. By I like them, dude. That's SOS sweet. Customs. Yeah, uh, they, cool. they do all wrestling shirts. So they kind of um, we're not wrestling. So they they kind of mm-hmm. went against the, their grain. Yeah, and they like what we do. So they they hooked us up. With, That's awesome, um, man. They they do like indie indie, indie wrestlers. Indie dudes. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And they get hook them up with shirts, and their fans can order. So that's that, great. So we're part of that. So that's awesome. pretty cool. Um, and so transitioning right into wrestling, we'll wrap up and we'll get out of here. Yeah. I, I know you got to go. Favorite wrestler of all time? Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels. By far. Uh, and uh, number two, Dolph Ziggler. Ziggler. Love most, Dolph. Him and The Miz, most underrated guys Love on them. the roster. Yeah, they're great. Most yeah. underrated, underutilized, especially Ziggler. Yeah, yeah. Dolph, Dolph should, should have uh, had the title a little bit longer. Yeah. In fucking three weeks. Yeah, <laughs> three. And and Come he's on. he's good on his own. They had all those people around him like AJ Lee and all that. He doesn't need. He it. doesn't need it. But I would love to see one day Kevin Nash be his security. Yeah, just for one event. When especially when they were pushing that Sean. Now it's he's like in limbo. They don't know what to do with him. Well, the problem they was were pushing that Shawn Michaels thing for a long time. Yeah, and then they're but then they blame him for that. Then like you you're just like Shawn. Well, you fucking you molded you, me into this. You pushed this. it. Yeah, I wanted to be this. You said it was okay. Now all of a sudden it's not working. You know. Uh, I don't know. Seth Rollins, too. Love him. Yeah. Good I'm a dude. huge Rollins fan. Yeah. yeah. The, the best Seth Rollins thing I've ever seen was on YouTube when he moonsaults off the fat guy. Oh, yeah. On the floor. And, yeah. And, and the lands. show. Yeah. yeah. I fucking. I love that. I mark out to that all the time. He's great. Uh, favorite match of all time. Favorite match of all time is the Montreal Screwjob. The Montreal Screwjob. Love for, it. For me, Hell in the South. Which one? Ninety eight. One in Pittsburgh. Yeah, King of the Ring. He's coming here, uh, Mr. Right. Smalls, June twenty. Trying to get him. i have been unsuccessful. I so far. tried to open up for him, and they said no. Uh, so I hope nobody goes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I, I, I'm trying to get him. I'm trying to get him on. And, yeah, uh, that'd be great. So far, have been unsuccessful. We'll see. We'll keep going. I'm going to yeah. try to maybe use Paige to help out with that. There you go. Um, old school versus new school. As in, what do I like better? Yeah. Oh, I mean, by far. Uh, here's the thing, though. People will say the Attitude Era. I was I liked right before the Attitude Era, right. Federation Era. Yeah. I liked from to me it was it was ninety two to ninety seven was my favorite wrestling when Mister Perfect, Flair, right. Razor Ramon were the top guy. You know yeah. what I mean? And then Shawn was building his way up, right. feuding with the Bulldog, Jeff Jarrett. You know, then yeah. Bret Hart. That was my favorite. I, I always have this discussion with our our wrestling show, the Devereaux Committee. Uh, when I when they have me on, I think wrestling really changed for me yeah. when it was guys like me and Kevin Owens and like guys just from the stands that are in there as major title holders. Yeah, and, and you know they wouldn't even have been on the show right when we were growing up. Yeah, because the guys back then were were immortal. They were larger than they life. wanted bodybuilders. You know? He yeah. had that sick fucking and, mold that and they had to be six, like seven five foot was long. like small. Yeah, you know, six four six. Yeah. They were smaller guys, and I think that's when wrestling took a turn. And, and currently, I think the athleticism right now is 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 higher more than ever. Right, I, but at the same time, that's, as fucked up as it sounds, I don't give a fuck about wrestling. Right, cut a promo. You're my favorite wrestler. Right, and and now they they pre-script the promos where right. Roddy mm-hmm. Piper was one of the greatest oh, promo yeah. guys ever. Oh, um, yeah. love Roddy. I think one of the things that hurts the new brand is the <sighs> the lack of factions. Yeah. And the lack in the, There's no the competition. poor execution with them. Well, here's what they're doing is is what WWE is doing right now is any guy in the indie scene that is is making it, they just buy them and then they kill them and they let them fucking drown in NXT. I they can't, just let them drown there. I can't uh, really? wait to see um, 
Corey Graves' brother when he makes it up. Is he doing? I don't. I don't even know he had one. His name is. Um, look him up. He's a, his name is Sam Elias or okay. Sam Adonis. Okay. And he is killing it. He's from Pittsburgh too. Yes. Yeah. Polinski's is is their real name. Okay. Um, he is killing it in Mexico. From? He's the top heel in Mexico. Yeah. And he he capitalized off the Trump thing. He was coming out with a Trump uh, oh, flag. Fun. All oh, Amer- like anti Mexico, and he's literally now he's facing like top stars all over the world, and and hair for hair, and he's shaving like hair hair oh, off. That's amazing. I think he fought Ultimo Dragon for his mask. Yeah, all that. I mean, I mean, he's like he's killing it. So low key indie wrestler that I love too, Joey Ryan. Joey Ryan, because he what flips think- people with his dick. <laughs> what do you think about um, the Jericho thing in, in New Japan? I think it's good. I think it's good for wrestling. Omega and I, I think it. I think it's something that WWE needs. You know, I think they've gotten lazy since they bought out everybody else. Yeah. Uh, it's nice to see the I indie think the scene big doing well is with the writing. They got these non-wrestling people writing. Yeah, you need somebody like Vince Russo. They're gonna in make there. it too much of a movie. Yeah, and, you know and, what I mean. And they don't know, like they kill the storylines too fast. They never go anywhere. Like yeah. they've done that a lot of times. Well, I I think the biggest reason Jericho is doing all this, and you can say whatever you want, I think Jericho is doing it because he has a cruise to sponsor in October. He's promoting. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I'm and I'm like ninety percent sure that he's like, yeah, I'll do this, but Kenny Omega, you got to be on my fucking cruise right. and fight uh, for one of the titles. You know what yeah. I mean? So I feel like it's a scratch my back, scratch yours yeah. type atmosphere. Nice. What's your dream match? Ooh, dream match. Mm, that's you just. I, that's I'm usually quick. What's yeah. Your, what's yours? Let me think. My my dream match was always to see Shawn Michaels and The Rock. Shawn Michaels and The Rock. Yeah, because I, they're they're very similar with how they're flamboyant. They're both cocky. They're both low key gay. Um, <laughs> you know, but no, I just, I always wanted to see those two go at it because they never, if you look back in wrestling, they never fought each other. Right. Never fought each other. Uh, and I think they're both athletic enough to where it could have worked. Like Sean and, and, and Austin, Austin was already fucking hurt right. when it was happening. Michaels was on his way out with a broken fucking back, so yeah. that match sucked. Yeah. I just wanted to see those two go at it. I would have liked to have seen Hogan Flair earlier. Yeah. When they were the kings of the mountain on both yeah, sides. Okay, yeah. you saw that on that 30 for 30. Don't act well, like you're the first one to ever no, fucking say I'm that. Not, I'm not what you going to do, brother? I'm not trying to be original. That was the spoiler on that 30 for 30. But, I just, I watched I mean, the, the big one that people always talk about is uh, Sting Sting Undertaker, which I don't see the, the appeal with that. I don't um, either. It's just they both were black. Yeah. I think that was it. I'm a huge <laughs> Sting fan. I yeah, love, he's but, one of my favorites. But, dude, did, you know what's so funny is when Sting they showed up. They fucked him when he went over. Oh, I loved it. I you loved it. how they fucked him? Because it's WWE, that we're the, the superior last, brand. Yeah, that was You're the gonna last fucking nail lose. in the coffin. And plus, dude, when he when he debuted, tell me he didn't look just like fucking Bruce Jenner. The, the hair, the hair thing, dude. He was like he had like fucking red highlights coming out. But of then it. you could see his scalp. Yeah, I was like, dude, you're like two commercials away from a before and after head and shoulders commercial. Like, get, the, get the fuck out of here. Before right, and I, after. I, 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 I think that's going to wrap up. All right. Uh, item on your Christmas list, and that's the last question I'll ask. Uh, vagina. I don't know. Nice. <laughs> All right. Can't go wrong with that. Are you two brothers? <laughs> I want a, No, I want a winged eagle wrestling belt. Buy me. Winged eagle. That, yeah. I saw on post. That's why I said that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> any plugs? You got anything you want to plug? Yeah. Uh, you, you can. No, I don't have anything, man. <laughs> Matt, MattLightComedy.com. That'll hook you up with him and all his social yeah. media. Uh, he'll also be local here to uh, in Pittsburgh, New Year's Eve. 10 p.m. at the Crown Plaza Hotel across from South Hills Village Mall. The MC is David Kay. The feature is Mike Wysocki, and Matt will be the headliner. $30 individual tickets, and uh, if you want to get a room at the Crown Hotel uh, and get tickets to the show, it's two tickets and a room. It's $201.80. Uh, taxes included. It includes two tickets, overnight stay, two uh, <coughs> breakfast uh, meal vouchers, and both packages, both uh, the ticket and the package include um, hats, noisemakers, and Fuck champagne. Right pussy. So go to uh, slapsticksproductions.com. Uh, don't forget Saturday, September 9th, right here at the Brookline Pub, Idiot Radio Holiday Extravaganza on Ice 2.0. We're going to feature old time favorites like Eggnog Chug Challenge. Um, Cock sucking you competition? Join, yeah, we, we do that. We're going to do that now. Okay. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it like a fucking pirate game. I'm going to take everyone's dick here. How many is there? Five of us? I'm going to be, uh, 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 u
uh, make your hand a little bit small, a lot small. For who? For me. He's black, dude. I can fucking I can put his mouth on his. <laughs> um, we're gonna recreate Mike's, Big Mike's world record. It is a legitimate world record at RecordCenter.com, the world's tallest human Christmas tree. We're gonna decorate him like a Christmas tree and carol around him like Charlie Brown used to do. Um, we're gonna recreate that. Or else, somebody asked me about um, Whack and Elf, when, the human whack and what we used to do. Uh, no, I, said, I yeah, saw that. I lost that in a divorce. Guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Build a new, <laughs> I don't want another concussion. We know any carpenters out there. We can, we need somebody to build that. And uh, I can tell you about a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. All you got to do is find a cut. I'm, I'm going to show your mic off. Oh, shit. And we'll be receiving our trophies uh, and be roasted by whoever's distributing them. Uh, Idiot Radio bought us trophies for best podcast and all that. And <coughs> fattest podcast. Uh, and damn it, we're so all much together girth. again. So much fucking girth. All right, yeah. oh, did you say that? Girth. Girth, girth hogs. Girth, girth well, hogs. Follow on Facebook. Girth hog is coming soon. Girth hog. All right. Girth. I thought you were talking about my girl. Matt, like, thank you for coming in. You're thank you so well, much. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. Thank you. Nice dicks, guys. Pleasure. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate what that. You're very bad. It's one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. It's the Donald D. Show.